as I said in previous videos. I knew that Saints Row would start to enlist the aid of streamers, content creators, and influencers to market their game, but I could never in my prophecy have seen them paying to plaster their game across Amaranth's titties, especially as the studio that praises people like Anita Sarkeesian and doesn't even offer a breast slider that would allow you to approach this size. That's crazy, right? But, hey, if this is just the beginning, considering the footage they recently released that, honest to God, had cars popping out, you know, of existence right in front of you, that was footage that they 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 specifically put out to show everybody it's not even the hands-on stuff yet and it certainly isn't like co-op gameplay to see how well that works they're showing the titties of amaranth but a 10 year old game is more inclusive and body positive than they are i don't know what alternate reality we're in but let me tell you something i hope passionately that when this game comes out, it at least works. Because I at least wanted to kick it, you know? And not kick it like chill and hang out, but kick this thing while it's down. Because they're making a Saints Row game the way that the CW makes a TV show right now. And it deserves any and every bit of spit that you guys want to hurl at it and I want to know that I want you to know that I appreciate the crap out of you because some of the stuff that I'm seeing in the way like look at the dislikes on this Jesus Christ I haven't been back here recently but this is an IGN video that was put out where Ryan McCaffrey makes it seem like a, a adrenaline mode is a is a new feature in saints row and then he says it's my favorite i'm like jesus Christ, how old is ryan mccaffrey you know and am i saying his name wrong is it is it like i'm pronouncing a uh, uh, planet arium instead of planetarium i don't give a fuck you know i know about as much as about pronouncing his name as he does about fucking saints row he's talking about his favorite mode but it's 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 new you know Oh, this was the funniest trailer I've ever seen, by the way. You know, not with all the pop in and the shadows and the weird like things just going out of existence. The fact that what y'all had to show off was a drive carefully because you have volatile things in the back. Like, what the fuck, man? This is exciting. This is something that's 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 promoting your game, you know? To see these shill comments in the comment section that seem like they're from developers, but the ones that are really getting upvoted are people going, now listen. <sighs> I don't want to kick it. I don't want to kick it while it's down before it comes out. Oh man, they said it. If you were a real fan, you'd know that Adrenaline Mode was in other games. Oh man, the whole comment section is just roasting this dude for this one fucking... It's not his fault. He doesn't know what he's doing. Sounds like it should lead to very chaotic gameplay. Cuts to just very uneventful, quiet driving where nothing crazy happens. I'm surprised nobody's, uh, you know, marking the portions where, uh... <laughs> The cars are vanishing and shit like this. Look, man, there's some pretty dramatic stuff in here that I'm not going to go through frame by frame because that would make me a hater. I'm totally willing to, to let this game come out to see some more hands on gameplay. And hey, you know, just just let it be all about the fun. But don't think for a second that I'm not loving every inch of hypocrisy that I just want to slide between, I guess. What's too offensive to allow for people these days? But it ain't too offensive to sell your game, you know what I'm talking about? Deli solido. Ooh, dear. I'm sorry, I have a big titty woman in my life who happens to be in earshot. I'm gonna go ahead and diminish the volume of the music because I want to get her opinion on what it's like to not even be able to represent herself in the game 
because y'all too pussy these days to include that inclusivity and it it shrieks insecurity it shrieks like petty bitch like you a dog of a hoe like there's a bunch of sluts on your dev team that are fucking scared and of course how could they be okay with this because this seems to celebrate femininity is that okay you know is it okay to celebrate femininity? Only dudes can can have some fun, right? Anyway, my bad. I'm not trying to talk over this girl. Dia, do you have anything to say about this? I like how their hypocrisy only extends to their customers and not to the the sales reps people presenting a, a, a thing that I believe was repeatedly being shunned and trying to run away from, especially by that guy saying, oh, we're, we're, we're getting away from all the bad things of Saints Row. Yeah, all that we're dated only, stuff we're that, oh, we're bigger than that thing. now, yeah, please. It seems like, it seems like you want to take ten steps forward and instead you're taking... What like, they want to do is, to is side. eat their cake and have it too and trying it's, to be woke and certain. standing against... Uh, what you consider the objectification of women. You know what I mean? It's no scientific basis in reality for this kind of shit. You know what I mean? But, sorry to cut you off, continue. Fuck me. Hypocrites. It's Could they not afford enough to have her write the name Saints Row on her titties? I guess it was too expensive. I guess. I guess. Damn. All I can say is that I don't follow the girl, nor do I, like, know her or have bitch amaranth making her. that money but and she's based and we say, appreciate and celebrate her because she getting that paper what I, what I have to say is the fact that this woman that has been villainized through god knows how many years she's been a, a streamer is now being used on platforms that are super woke and anti any of this stuff but they'll use her knowing fully well that, that they're bringing attract, in the crowd of people the male customers the same gaze that they try to make seem this villainous shit like, what like it's obvious who you're trying to get the attention of but at the same time you're trying to guilt trip them into into believing that oh you like this then why don't you like our game and it's so like, what's bizarre is, is this almost identical thing yes. happened with g4 do you it, remember that that's what i mean with this that, frost that thing and she gets up on she that, runs that, her mouth and that, that amaranth is very much a sign of look what we look at look at what we're preaching but in reality what we want is your money do you consider and it a sign of desperation as it pertains to to the, to the male gaze that apparently is all evil and, and all look at this this video was uploaded two days ago now it's it's what's gonna get you money so stop pretending that you're above it because you're not above it. Clearly, you want to play just as dirty as everyone else, which is showing a little bit of boobage from some very popular streamer. I know Don't that pretend. the developers say that people hate just to hate, but this is impactful, surely. Just when even now people are, are willing, and again, dislikes are hidden for the most part all over YouTube, but people are willing to come out and click the damn button and it's not like there's nothing in here to hate. As I said, there are artifacts popping out of existence, popping in right on the spot. There was a portion where he's behind Jim Robs because the game's not too, like rim jobs would be too edgy for this game. Big titties, jiggle physics, too edgy for this game. But you can use it to market your game. Isn't it confusing? It's not, it's not just hypocrisy to me. It's like, wow, man. Y'all in trouble, huh? A month out from your game and there's no hands-on gameplay. It's, it's two-faced. I got nothing more to say. Forgive me for talking over you, man. This, this is stupid. And so is Saints Row now. And again, I'm so willing to give it the benefit of the doubt when it comes out to see what's really going on. But... I do think it is the height of hypocrisy that you are using a woman that you have specifically, specifically paid. Amaranth don't come cheap, baby. To appear as she does, showcasing her goods that go past what you can allow in your game 
as it contradicts what used to be allowed in your game. So you want to claim diversity, volition, you want to claim inclusivity, but the white men that came before you allowed more in the way of diversity, inclusiveness. Like, please, I'm sorry. Y'all lose and y'all suck. This is weird. I'm loving it, though. And I can't imagine, you know, I uh, wh what's Anita Sarkeesian going to say about this? <laughs> she can't be okay with this, you know? All I'll say is that I I hope that with the responses that, well, I know that it, that it, that it won't matter in the grander scheme of things, but I hope customers understand that these people will pretend to be one way in your face and they'll turn around the next minute and do this kind of horseshit. We all understand making money, but it seems so boneheaded to them to, I, I don't know, only only apply it in certain areas. And this feels like a desperation thing. They were always going to pay their content creators and their influencers and their streamers. But this specifically is just hilarious to me. You can't look like this in your game. What the fuck y'all doing? Anyway, we'll, we'll come back with this later. I apologize. I just had to say something about it. Just get it off my brain. You know, love you. Talk to you soon. My God.